stories coming out on the news is helping the industry as a whole. Um, because when, honestly, when I talk to some of these business owners, they just look at me like I'm crazy. Paul is the CEO of Heart of Texas Network Consultants. He's an expert in security and knows too well the damage a ransomware attack can cause. Oftentimes, attackers strike businesses with the false belief they're immune. They're just like, it's not going to happen to me. The most devastating ransomware attack on critical infrastructure in the U.S. to date. The recent cyber attack on the Colonial Gas Pipeline, which carries more than 100 million gallons of gas per day and stretches from Texas into the Northeast U.S. It's helping Paul highlight when it comes to cyber intrusion, it's not a matter of if. It's when. Everybody on the planet is ripe for the picking. The cost of these attacks, well, in 2020, recent estimates placed that total at over $20 billion, with close to 43% of victims being small businesses. The basic architecture of it is, is they, they try to social engineer their way into the, into the network through email, typically is the main attack platform, and they get you to, to look at a message respond to it by clicking on it. One click can be an open door for the malicious programs onto your machine into your infrastructure. If you're hacked, it's damage control, Paul says. You need to contact your IT provider, seek assistance, and be prepared to inform your clients. For prevention, perhaps most importantly, two-factor authentication on your email accounts. One of the chief ways that the uh, hackers are getting in is They'll compromise, they'll go to the dark web and find you one of your compromised passwords that you used on a website that got compromised. Because mistakenly, we often use the same password for work, email, personal email, and even our bank account. So then they figure out how to get into your email account, and then once they get into your email account, uh, then they can do almost anything. It's almost like leaving your keys on the welcome mat. For now, perhaps most importantly to take away from stories like the hack on the Colonial Pipeline is we're all living in a cyber world and we're all vulnerable. All the more reason to be cyber secure aware going forward. For now, Garrett Hoddle, 25 News. Well, there is some good news at the pump. Colonial Pipeline says it restarted operations after that six day shutdown. Its shutdown sparked panic buying of gas across the southeast. Colonial says it will take several days for the supply chain to return to normal. As of now, Colonial Pipeline has avoided paying the demanded millions in ransom after retrieving the most important data stolen that have been stolen by the hacking group Darkside.